compressor are the device which are used to compress air from low pressure to high pressure. They are generally classified as positive displacement compressor or dynamic compressor. Positive displacement compressors are in which the air is trapped between the two sets of engaging surfaces and the pressure rise is either by backflow of air which is normally happens in the case of roots blower or by squeezing action in case of vent pump. In the case of dynamic compressor the energy from a pillar is transferred to the air as the air flows and rise in pressure is primarily due to dynamic effect. As such in this case air is not trapped in a specific boundary but it flows continuously and steadily through the machine. The compression effect is due to dynamic effect. The positive displacement compressors are further classified into reciprocating compressor, rotary compressor. There are the further classification of rotary compressor and the roots blower normally used for pressure ratio equals to Second one is vane type compressor ratio of approximately 8.5 and the third one is called screw type compressor. Whereas the dynamic compressors are classified as centrifugal compressor and axial flow compressors. The centrifugal compressor normally used for pressure ratio of approximately 4.4. Whereas axial flow compressor is normally used for pressure ratio. pressure is approximately one. One is the use of compressed air. The compressed air is used in number of ways. In the ca in the case of coal mines, there is normally a chance of the spark if you use the electric motors. So because of this, the motors are driven by means of air called as air motors, and this is used for reciprocating compressor. It is also used in aircraft engine to maintain the atmospheric pressure and refrigeration because at high altitude the pressure is much lower than the uh, surrounding pressure. So in this case the, there is a lack of oxygen quantity in the cabin. To improve the oxygen quantity we have to pressurize the air. Application we are using it to inject the fuels into the diesel engine. Then it is also used in the drills, hammers, air brakes for locomotives and railways around 80 bar. And it also used in the cleaning the workshop. Compressed air can be used to clean all the dust in uh, workshop machines and generators. It also used in pneumatic drills, rivets, road drills, sand blasting machines when pick up sand and operate in similar manner. Similarly, there are number of applications we are using this one. These are the few I am mentioning here. This lecture will discuss the classification of resetting compressor. The compressor can be classified in varieties of way. The first classification is based on number of stages. Second classification is based on the as per the piston acting, whether the piston is single acting or piston is double acting and as per the number of stages means we have single acting compressor or multiple acting compressor. They can further classified as based on the speed of the compressor as low speed compressor or high speed compressor. The resetting compressor will take the air from atmosphere. It compresses to some delivery pressure, but this pressure, this temperature, this pressure is very high and the temperature is also high, so we are using the receiver. Secondly, we are not getting the continuous supply from the air from this one because during the 180 we have suction and during 180 we have delivery, so we are getting a pulsating discharge. So therefore we have a receiver here and from this we can use to end application. Now the one of the function of the receiver is that it admits, stores the mass of air and secondly the large surface is exposed to the air because of this the heat is transferred from this one. So this hot air is get cooled down and we get here high pressure, low temperature air which can be used for end applications. At this stage we have high pressure and high temperature air and this one is atmospheric. And secondly we used to require to drive the compressor. In addition to this we have to first, there is additional plant is there, there is one we have filter, air filter, so air filter here. So from air filter we can remove this and number of times we have additional fins available here if the receiver size is small. In case of receiving compressor we are not using the spring operated wall, rather than this we are operating the puppet wall which operates on the difference of pressure difference. 
so let me draw here some simplified diagram of this one and we'll try to explain how the pv is developed using the resorting compressor so in this one we have a resorting compressor and this one is called as the delivery wall this side is connected to receiver so whatever the receiver pressure is there that is maintained at this point this is a suction wall so this one is atmospheric condition so atmospheric air will take from this side this one is called as piston a connecting rod a crank and the crank will rotate the space above this one is called as clearance volume and from this point to this point the vertical distance which it travels is the same distance that the crank will travel that is called as stroke so the limiting position of this one will be somewhat like this so the distance of the crank when it comes here will be r and then it goes downward will also equals to r so stroke l is approximately equals to 2 times of r now these walls here they are basically are the puppet walls so let initial cycle will be we are discussing now and let's say the piston is at the top dead center this one is called as top dead center piston cannot move above this and then bottom dead center at this point and the wall is something like this and we have a wall seat here if you see the top side from this one the top side of this one is the circular area and if you see the bottom side of this one is a small circular area so when the inside this pressure is atmospheric and this pressure is also atmospheric so both times the pressure acting from downward is also p atmospheric and the pressure acting at this point is also p atmospheric in addition to this the weight will act downward so net downward force is more as compared to the upward force and therefore the wall is remain close at this position so we'll discuss this thing on the pv diagram so this one is p versus v plot and this volume is called as clearance volume it's a very small volume here equals to vc from this point to this point the volume is pi by 4 d square into l is called as swept volume or is also called as stroke volume and initially we have a atmospheric pressure and delivery we want equal to p receiver pressure so this one is p receiver pressure to start this one let assume that the atmospheric pressure equals to 1 bar and we want d equals to 5 bar pressure center we are at this point the corresponding pressure is atmospheric and the corresponding volume will be equals to vc at this time the downward force is equals to p atmospheric multiplied by this area plus the weight is acting downward and the small area if you look from the bottom side multiplied by p atmospheric is the upward force so the force is more as compared to the upward force so the wall will not open at this point as the piston will move slightly downward we have a equation pv equals to mrt mass does not change r remain constant volume has been increased so pressure has to decrease so as the piston will start approaching from tdc to bdc the pressure will go on decreasing as the pressure will go on decreasing this value will be less than p atmospheric so net downward force will decrease and there sometimes there is an imbalance at this point the wall will open and outside air suddenly rush inside as soon as the outside air suddenly inside the inside air will become also equals to the atmospheric pressure so at this stage somewhere piston has been reached has traveled certain distance from top dead center again the wall is get closed because this condition again become equals to what atmospheric so this become again atmospheric and therefore the wall will close then move downward because of the mass and r remain constant the volume is going to increase so pressure has to decrease so there is a bouncing of wall again so this phenomena will repeat at the end of this point that is when the piston reaches to the bottom dead center we are at this point in the meantime the, del the delivery bar wall will not going to open because from the top side we have pressure of 5 bar and from bottom side is a pressure equals to 1 bar so downward force is much more 
So during this passage, that is from point this point that is top dead center to bottom dead center, the delivery wall always remain closed. And one time it opens the suction wall, and another time it is open the suction wall. Now at this stage, the entire cylinder is it now atmospheric pressure, and the cylinder the piston is at bottom dead center. Now piston is moving in the upward direction. When the piston will move upward direction, the volume will going to decrease. Therefore the pressure will increase. So it start compression. So the compression will proceed. Depending upon the compression speed, we have a different index of compression. So this we consider as polytropic compression. And slowly we are reduce, we are increase the pressure to 5 bar. When the pressure is increased to 5 bar, now there is no scope for opening of this wall because the top pressure is 5 bar. But in the same figure we apply for this delivery wall, then this pressure, the bottom pressure is equals to 5 bar. Whereas the top pressure is also 5 bar. But here and because of the weight, the downward force is more as compared to upward, so the wall will not open. So it will continue to move upward. The same line. Now the pressure is slightly more than 5 bar, so that this pressure will be comes to something 5.5 .5 bar for example. So the upward force will increase and downward force will remain decrease. At this point the delivery wall open. As soon as the delivery wall open, some of the air will leave and again it will open. So this pressure is called as delivery pressure at which the wall opens and at the point where the suction wall opens is called as suction pressure. When the, again the piston reaches to top dead center, we are at this point, some residual mass of air is trapped. Now this point again both the walls are not closed because the pressure equals to what 5 bar. So air is allowed to expand like this. And when it expands it comes to the pressure equals to 4 bar. And the same procedure will repeat but this time the bouncing will be different. So we have point number 1 that is the end of suction. This one is point number 2 that is the end of compression. Point number 3, 2 to 3 is delivery and 3 to 4 is residual expansion. Now if this expansion has index equals to n1, then this index may be something different that equal to p v to the power n2 equals to. Your idea is to calculate the work done under this diagram. Now this is very difficult to calculate the work done under this diagram. Because the bouncing is not defined, it is a variable quantity, so we have to make the assumptions. One of the assumptions is that we have to neglect the bouncing due to the suction during the suction stroke and during the delivery stroke. That will be the ideal cycle that we will discuss in the next time.